Hey everyone, uh, I thought I'd take a minute here to share something that uh, I discovered a week or so ago. Uh, thought it'd be kind of interesting. I haven't seen anything, any uh, presentations or any demonstrations regarding this feature within Lightwave. So I thought I'd just take a moment to share what I found. Uh, now, typically, uh, you know, I am I am not an animator or anything. I basically, you know, do stuff like this. So forgive me if what I show you is, is pretty lame as far as you animation gurus go. Uh, but uh, it was something that I thought was pretty cool uh, that I thought I'd share. And like I said, I haven't seen anybody do any demonstrations with it or anything so basically what I'm going to be sharing is uh, this right here how I created this uh, it's it's it, it, it's nothing really you know but it might be kind of cool for you know motion graphics people or somebody like that uh, so I'd, let's 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 take a look at how I accomplish this. Uh, let's go into Lightwave, and here it is. We have it running in our little preview. Uh, everything that I'm going to show you is uh, is all part of Lightwave. There's nothing, you know, no third-party things or anything like that. So it's pretty simple. So. That was the preview running. Now, let me just, uh, let me hit the run key here. and Let's just run it through. Now you can see, uh, you know, it's the same animation. And right at the very end, you know, we have uh, the camera swooping over. And uh, if you haven't already noticed, uh, you know, this is being accomplished with my camera. Uh, you can see over here that my camera is got a really crazy shape to it. And uh, this is how I am able to warp what the view or you know what the camera sees, making it look like these things are actually morphing and moving when the reality is it's just the camera doing that. So uh, you know, how are we doing that? Well, number one, we're doing that with uh, the advanced camera. Okay? And the advanced camera uh, requires, let's just open up the properties here. The advanced camera requires another basic another object okay and uh, I've taken to call those other objects you know it's just it's kind of really another camera uh, so I've called it a weird camera so uh, this is my camera and you can see it's uh, really kind of morphing and moving I have it uh, parented to the camera, so as my camera moves and shifts, it goes along with it. But let's take a look at what that really looks like. So let's go into wireframe. So basically, what this is, it's, a, it's an object that I made in Modeler. And... Uh, And, and added some deforms to it. So it's it's piping through my advanced camera here. It's I'm using this mesh, weird camera six mesh, and it's got a UV map on it, and it's being seen by you know our advanced camera right here. And you can see the two of them together now. Whatever this object does here you know, the camera follows suit. 
see that there. And so let's go ahead and look at that object inside a modeler. This is all there is to it. This is what that object is. Let's look at the morphs. There's no morphs on it. Okay, so how was that accomplished? Well, it was accomplished with metamorphic. Hey, what do you know? There's a use for metamorphic. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so we can get in here with metamorphic and we can uh, we can play with this object in real time and we can do some crazy things and uh, we can see the result here in real time. So that's, that's pretty cool. But the key is to number one over in Modeler, you know, we, we need to have a UV map for this. So there we have our UV map. You can see it right there. So it's pretty basic. So it does require a UV map. So you can see we're just, we're just morphing that, screwing around with that object, which in turns affects our camera. So you can see our camera do the same weird thing now. Because they're connected through this setup here. So, uh, let's try maybe some different different things here. Let's load in uh, a different scene with maybe a different kind of camera. Let's go with this one. Same type of thing. But we have a different, I believe it's different, a different weird camera. Yes. We have a different weird camera. Let's pump these up a little bit. So this is our camera for that. And this I actually have two UV maps. Okay, two different UV maps. Why is that important? Well, I'll show you here in a second. This is another kind of a cool feature. So let's change this here so we can see the camera or yeah, see what's going on. So right now, you know, we have that camera morphing and doing its thing, right? Well, let's, and, you, and we can see again how it's affecting the camera in this grid, you know, with the camera. It's following that object the best it can. It's giving us some really cool things going on. So what makes the UVs important? Well, I'll show you. Let's go to the properties. And here we've used UV map A, which is this one right here. So now we're going to use UV map B. And look at there. It's kind of a mask, which you can see if we go over here and go to B, this is our shape. And now we have a mask, and but we still get the cool uh, morphing of the object, but it's now using this as a mask, this cool UV as a mask. And, you know, it's, it's a true mask. See? Everything is uh, 
being masked. So, you know, that could really, uh, you know, just think, think of what you could do as far as, you know, some of the shapes you could do and things like that. So let's go back to uh, this other UV map again and uh, select this and go into metamorphic and let's go into transform you can use any sculpting tools or whatever as well uh, but let's just try rotating this once So yeah, it's it's a lot of fun, really cool. Like I say, I I don't do much of this kind of stuff, but it might be fun for any of you that uh, do some animation and you know like to monkey about with things like this. Uh, let me go ahead and load another scene here, a recent scene that I was doing when I was playing around with this stuff. And see what see what uh, the differences are. Yeah, here we go. Uh, get this really cool ripply effect here. Again with another weird camera. So you can see it. Look how everything is kind of bunched together. Now, yeah, so yeah, you see my objects, they're not being deformed in any way. It's just the camera is being, you know, doing all the heavy lifting. And uh, I only have one UV map on this one. So, yeah, it's it's really all within you know, this object, uh, my camera, my weird camera A, and we might have, maybe there's some morphs on this, because, yeah, there's some morphs on here. So, uh, <clears throat> while, uh, while I think I used metamorphic, you, if you, you know, if you don't have metamorphic you can use Morph Mixer. And I guess this one here is using Morph mi Mixer. So here we are. We are you actually using Morph Mixer to pull off the same effect. So if, if you have an older version of Lightwave that doesn't have more uh, metamorphic, you can use Morph Mixer. And uh, so here we are screwing around with that. Of course, you know, the, these various morphs, you have to create those in uh, in Modeler, you know, because they're just your Morris here. And then, you know, we just have a combination of them, which is kind of cool with Morph Mixer because you can go into the negative and, and do a lot of crazy things, you know, going into the ne negative aspects. But, yeah, so, uh, you know, I've, I've never seen anybody do a demo on this or anything. So I just thought I, I'd share this and, you know, maybe some people can use this and, uh, you know, make some cool stuff. You know, I typically don't do any animation, but, hey, you know, I might throw this in one of my shots just for the fun of it to see what people think. <laughs> see what my boss thinks when when the furniture goes crazy. Uh, but anyway, if you have any questions or anything, leave them in the comments and and uh, we'll be happy to answer them the best we can. Thanks so much.